Hey guys, welcome back to Kenny Fan TV. Wanga, how yeah. are you doing, man? How are you doing? Uh, I know we're missing Steve today, but we have you here today, man. This we'll say that something's happened with Steve. It's not because you had a bad day against Cameroon today. <laughs> <laughs> if we just quickly go through, it was a bad day, bad day in the office. Yeah. You know, Cameroon had the possession just over you, but you had a lot of shots. Yeah. So that's four games now down for you guys. Only one win, two defeats, and one draw. Yeah. Cameroon are 10 points in the group. Yeah. Yeah, Zimbabwe have five with a game to play against Namibia. And you guys are sitting on four points. Ranga, please yes. tell me what happened to Kenya here, man. Uh, I think uh, Abdi, it, uh, I'm a bit uh, disappointed as a Harambe Stars fan. When uh, going into this particular match, uh, the way we were disappointed at uh, the first leg, you were beaten 4-1 away. And, you know, coming uh, to our home ground, that is as much as we were playing in Uganda, I had a maybe expectation that maybe we might even manage to get a draw. And uh, we saw there were chances where Kenya could have easily maybe put the ball behind the net. Uh, that particular, Michael Lolunga, the Harambe Stars captain, had two clear chances that, you know, he could have easily uh, squared the ball back into the net. But uh, he didn't mm. even do that. Uh, we saw uh, uh, Kenya hitting the post twice in this particular game so i think uh, from an overall point of view i think uh, it was a nice enter it was a, an entertaining match but uh but looking on the other on the other aspect of, you know we we've just lost this match and uh, when you look at the table if um if if Zimbabwe manages to win against Namibia, will will be like maybe out of the equation in terms of qualifying for Afcon 2025 is mm. concerned. So I think uh, as a Kenyan fan or a Harambe Stars fan, I'm a bit disappointed and I'm a bit hopeful, you know. Uh, but I would, when we, we when we maybe we give positives into this match, we brought in the new goal, the, the the other goal. We we managed to change the goalkeeper. Matasi didn't manage to play, and we saw uh, he pulled off a. Good save. That was the header from uh, the, the Cameroon player. So I think when you give positives into this match, I think Kenya was so unlucky to lose today because uh, they played way better. Well, let's say maybe better compared to the way they did in the first leg. But uh, moving forward, I think we are we are we are in deep trouble. The hopes that we had, yeah. you know, we, we started well as far as uh, Afcon 2025 qualifying campaign is concerned. We were top of the table as when we were heading to this uh, international break. But you know, getting off the international break, currently we sit third and at a very tricky place as far as uh, qualifying for the next round is concerned. Yeah, so I mean, according, I mean, going back to your previous point in the previous game, I mean, looking back on uh, the comments people have left, it yeah. seems like there was a lot of people who had the same belief that your, your goalkeeper is just not up to the standard, and there was a lot of lot of fans who just kept blaming him, blaming him, and having a go at him. I mean, you had the double header against uh, Cameroon; it, yeah. it just completely flipped the table on you. So, like you said, moving forward, you need Namibia to do a job on Zimbabwe. That's the next thing that you need to be done. But apparently, I was told that Namibia is a three, <laughs> three point for everyone. <laughs> for everyone. So, no, no, don't, don't go expecting any, any favours to be done there. But, you know, but looking back at, at this match in particular, I mean, at the end of the day, this was a better show than the last game. You know, the last game was, was you know, a lot worse for you guys. Yeah. This, this was a little bit higher. You know, you edged them on the amount of shots on goal, 11 to 9. Mm. Uh, so you know you put a good show in this game. It just, just it was just all about the fine margins. Mm. Yeah, Abdi. Uh, when we look into this particular game, I say it's it's a bit of uh, improvement because uh, the other match. Um, uh, Cameroon, when we were away, they completely dominated the game. But today we see Kenya had some bit of improvement. Uh, last time, uh, Kenyans complained about the goalkeeper, that is Patrick Matazi, who was obviously substituted today. Uh, he didn't uh, start in the lineup. And the keeper who, was, who came on, you see here, the number of saves he made, he did. That was good. But I think uh, also the coach got it wrong at some point. We saw uh, he substituted a, a striker when, you know, we were one goal, we were one goal down. So I think. Uh, Moving forward, we, we, we can't hope on Namibia to do miracles again as Zimbabwe because so far they've been beaten by, you know, everybody in this particular group. But uh, I think Kenya, you know, need to go back to the drawing board. It was so disappointing that, you know, from here back in Nairobi, I couldn't watch the match because, it, it you know, it could not be aired. Leave alone the fact that the match couldn't be played here in home ground because we don't have a stadium that is cup approved. We could also not watch the game in live television. We had to live stream, you know, to, through Bain Sports. And 
this is just something else. So I think uh, as a country, we need to get serious because as much as, as far as football is concerned, we are really, really lagging behind. And it's it's really shown here in the pitch because when the players go out there and, you know, they cannot, you know, manage even to get a draw when it's needed most, that is just something yeah. else. And Olunga was just so poor today. He could have easily slotted in you know, two goals in this particular match, and there's that I, I don't I don't even know why Olunga was giving the pass in the in the in the first chance that he got, considering the kind of form he is, and you know everybody was saying Onana is not uh, is not good. Mm. I think it's it's just overall a quite disappointing match from a Kenyan fan perspective. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I mean, going back and looking at the group, I mean, the way he's looking at, I mean, the permissions right now is mm. that. You need Namibia to get a draw against Zimbabwe. Yeah. Then after that, at least you don't play Cameroon again. Your next games are against Zimbabwe and yeah. Namibia. And if if Namibia pull off a draw, then mm. the two wins from the next two games, then you're through. You know, it'll be yeah. back in your hands then again. So you need the Namibia to really pull off a, a remarkable one there. Just before we continue, guys, I like to say please subscribe. A lot of you watch these programs, but mm. YouTube is telling us not a lot of you are subscribing. So please, please subscribe. Mm. Go on, Wanga. Give us more of your view on this. Yeah, I think uh, it's not all a loss for K- Team Kenya moving forward. Uh, we really need to put hopes on Namibia at least getting a draw uh, against Zimbabwe. And, uh, you know, in the next matches, when we, we when we get back to the the next qualifying uh, group matches, I think we really need to go for it. The coach at least needs his his time. He needs to go to the uh, to the, to the uh, league nation the league matches. You know, in Kenya here we have the the, the our our league our our FKF league where we usually yeah, yeah. have teams from all over. He needs to start attending these matches, select players based on performance of these particular players because you see we can't be having the same same faces. Uh, for the national team and when you go there you know they are not performing they keep on letting the country down so I think it all is not lost for the as far as uh, qualifying for AFCON 2025 is concerned the coach has uh, some time you know to go at least back to the drawing board see where he missed it this time round and moving forward uh, at least let us get at least four points to be in a safer position, but uh, as a as a as a as a Kenyan fan, I think uh, mm. we, we, even if we manage to qualify for Afcon 25, uh, the kind of display we've shown in the group stages is just something else. I will be just going be going there to you know participate, not even compete, because this team is just far off behind when you compare them to yeah. other teams. All right. Um... Okay, Wanga. I mean, yeah. end of the day, it was, it was a better scoreline for you guys. I mean, we're always expecting Cameroon was going to yeah. be a tough ask. Yeah, yeah. But that's it. I guess international breaks, that's what we've had mm. to look forward to in the African competitions. Uh, the rest of the games, we see the scoreline. We'll mm. put a highlights of the game for you guys uh, very soon. So keep keep your eye out on that. Wanga, thank yeah. you again. Uh, we'll see you again this weekend. We look forward to see the Back Premier League. Business again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, yeah. after the after the long international break, it's the Premier yeah. League. Is we're football gonna, we're is going to go back to the banter clubs and see how we <laughs> where we're going to get along in that area. Yeah, All yeah. Right, guys. Another exciting Thank Premier League weekend. Welcome. All right.